Regarding my last video, this is a progression, something I have never seen or heard about, at least that I'm aware of. Okay, these are Edison LEDs, 12 volts, okay? I'm just powering one with straight direct current, 8.31 volts, and show you that it takes flat direct current, okay? Just flat direct current. And no switching going on in air, they're just a DC load right now, okay? Now, this is the single pipe hookup. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back to my other video, my last video. We're gonna turn the other supply on, and this also works with batteries. I had it doing it, where we're gonna have two different currents flowing through one wire. Now this wire, the pipe is split, and I'm running a coil, heavy duty choke coil, through it, okay? So we got two different polarities, 180 degrees out of phase, going through this, so it should cancel everything out. <clears throat> now, this is interesting. I'm going to turn on the second supply. Okay, the bulb came on. Now we're still looking the same. Right? Watch this. It takes a little while for these vibrations to start to... Uh, man, there we go. Boom. It kicked on. Something happened. Now I go to this coil. I take a magnet, and I got a huge... Uh, alternating electromagnetic field here huge now let's take the scope wire and scope out what's going on in this coil so we're gonna go to either side of this coil yeah that should be it Having a hard time clipping it. Okay. It's clipped on either side of this coil. Let's move this one away from these bulbs to the coil. Okay, and here's what I got going through that coil. Full alternating current going through this coil with no switching, no switches, none of that. I could do it off batteries, as I said, two separate batteries or two separate supplies, running current through one wire both ways at the same time, isolated. And then we get alternating current through this, which is crazy. Now, I did put an inductor on top and it induces right into like a transformer. Now, why it's doing that, I can't answer you. I don't really know what's going on with that. 104 hertz it's going at. Why 104? I don't know. But that's what it's resonating at. Um, now, it depends on what voltage levels I have here. So, here I have it at 8 and 8. Now, if I turn this up to 10, I have it, but it changed a little bit. Now I'll turn it up to 13. Now it's gone. Now we have that flat line again at 13. So let's turn this back to 10. Okay. Now we have our alternating current back in this transformer. I don't know if you could hear it. So creating alternating current with two supplies with no switching and going through a coil on a single pipe. So what does this all mean? What is this going to lead to? I don't know, but I don't think it's too explored. So stick with us. Join the forum. Let's learn. Let's figure it out.